Salutations, my Fallout lovers. It is Maddie here today with a Fallout 4 news update. Like with every single DLC before it launches, we get a look at the achievements and trophies that are going to be accompanying that DLC. And so we have 10 brand new achievements for Fallout 4's Nuka World DLC. Mind you, there will be small spoilers in here, so do keep in mind that if you plan on playing the DLC and you want to go in fresh without any spoilers whatsoever, then you should not watch onwards. There aren't really any story spoilers. We're only going to be speculating about that, but there are a lot of hidden things inside this DLC that I think some fans may want to hold back on and not watch the whole video on. So if that's not your speed, then by all means, feel free to exit the video now. I've given you your chance. Spoiler warning. So here we go. Let's dive right into the achievements. As I said, there is a list of 10 achievements in this, and they all showcase some brand new features in Fallout 4, which I'm really excited about. So the first three are nothing big, and we'll just quickly breeze over them because they are story-focused achievements. We can only really speculate so much about them. They are Taken for a Ride, The Grand Tour, and Home Sweet Home. Taken for a Ride sounds like the beginning of the quest because it is the first quest achievement, and that's probably when you arrive at Nuka World, get the quest, get the motive for why you're there, what exactly you're doing, and then The Grand Tour sounds like something along the lines of checking out all all the areas in Nuka World, perhaps, and seeing what there is to offer here, what exactly is going on in Nuka World, what problem you have to solve, if there even is a problem. Maybe it's not even that, because the trailer gave off some vibes that there's not this ultimate antagonist that you have to take down, that there's not this mystery to solve. It's just about, Nuka World is crazy, man. Go have fun. So maybe it's just checking out all the areas. Maybe someone's taking you on a tour here, showing you what's going on, and it's as simple as that. And the last one is Home Sweet Home. This could only be the ending of the DLC, what exactly that pertains to, who we're sending home, who's going home. I'm not sure could it be us maybe nuka world is our brand new home that's always a possibility given the fact that there's going to be a new settlement there we can only find out when we play the dlc but nonetheless let's move past the story speculation because there's only so much we can do with the names of quests and the achievement photos and move on to something a little bit more concrete the next trophy has me really 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 excited because it's called eyes on the prize and it says redeem 10,000 tickets at the nuka cade so nuka cade is in nuka town we did see this in the nuka world trailer and i did speculate in my in-depth analysis that it would be really really awesome if in these mini games they were showing at nuka world you could get tickets and redeem prizes and so i'm super excited to see that that's actually a thing and i'm hoping that there's a bunch of uniques behind the counter that you can get by trading in your tickets we did see a ton of awesome mini games in fallout 4's nuka world trailer so i am really hoping that this pays off and that we get something really cool and unique that we haven't seen in the trailers yet that's the also important thing is that these perhaps could be uniques that we haven't seen yet and that's exciting in its own right also a hundred thousand tickets does sound crazy i wonder how often they print out these tickets how easy it is to get these tickets is it going to be a grind is it going to be tedious are they really going to make you work like the old days i remember spending so many days at my local pizza cafe and playing that galaga game that over the head ship game and just grinding for that high score so is it going to be something similar to that experience or will getting tickets be something easier given the fact that it's a game within a game so they don't want to make you grind too hard i don't know i'm just spitballing ideas but the idea of getting tickets at the nuka cade and trading them in for something hopefully rewarding is a very exciting idea and I'm so happy that one of my speculations actually came true. The next achievement seems to be a side quest, complete power play. Power play sounds like you're activating something here at Nuka World. What that could be is a brand new ride. Could it have something to do with that mysterious man who is disappearing at the end of the Nuka World trailer? I feel like he has something to do with this. Perhaps he seemed too unique just to be a random encounter of some form, but power play nonetheless seems to be along the lines of a side quest just because it has the similar requirements of the story trophies and achievements. So it would only make sense that this is perhaps a side quest because Fallout 4's main game didn't have any side quest achievements that I can really think of off the top of my head a lot of them just pertain to the main story where if you look at a fallout 3 or a new vegas you sometimes got trophies and achievements for completing specific side quests that had a huge focus they were longer than most they were rewarding more than most and i really hope that's what they're taking into account with nuka world because i felt like there weren't those special side quests in fallout 4 so hopefully with nuka world they're taking a step forward with the game again they're doing this power play side quest that maybe will alter the area you're in like i said these types of dlcs like nuka world like far Harbor, give Bethesda a chance to focus on a smaller area and allow the player to make more dynamic choices because there's not overall too much in the area that can change, but you can make a more drastic change in impact because the area is smaller, because it takes less development time, and because it's not like you're changing a ginormous game world like Fallout 4. So hopefully power play is something that drastically impacts the world itself. If not, I'm not going to set my expectations too high, but still, it's just an idea, a little speculation there that perhaps this is allowing us to activate something that will give us access to something new in the park itself or maybe even outside of the park. 
The following trophy is actually quite interesting. I didn't really expect this one. Beverage Year, create 20 different flavors of Nuka Cola. I'm excited about this one because I love cooking and mixing in video games and creating foods. I love doing that. And so it's awesome to see that we're gonna be able to create our own flavors of Nuka Cola. I'm imagining that these flavors that we're going to create are gonna give us different bonuses and effects when we explore the world. I'll get into why I think that later due to the description of another trophy slash achievement, but still being able to mix our own flavors in Nuka Cola is exciting. I wonder if we can just mix and match whatever. It's going to be awesome to see what people can create. I hope that some of them are like almost like a Nuka Cola Molotov cocktail or something along those lines. I think they can get really wacky with this type of stuff. This DLC is weird. Why not just keep getting weirder? We can mix our own drinks play in an arcade we're there listening to crazy wacky theme songs get wild with it why not have a flavor that could have you do wild and insane powers because it has you so jacked up but still we can create our own flavors of nuka cola that's fun in its own right even if it doesn't give us superpowers the next trophy slash achievement is raiding for a living complete 12 quests for any nuka world raider gangs Sadly, this does sound like Radiant Quest to Matthew, and no one likes Radiant Quest in Fallout 4, but if there is an end game to all this where we actually finish it and it has an impact on the world, then I'm okay with that. An example I constantly use all the time is the Thieves Guild in Skyrim. There was a point where the Radiant Quest ended and you restored the Thieves Guild to their former glory and it felt rewarding. The grind was worth it. Hopefully these aren't just running random quests for these Nuka World gangs. Now I'm not going to get my hopes up. I doubt that these 12 quests that you can complete for this trophy are fully explored storytelling type of side quests like we'd find in a Fallout 3 or in New Vegas or some in Fallout 4 or similar to what we think Power Play is in Nuka World. I imagine these are run here, kill that, go here, collect that, do this, do that, but maybe the dynamics have changed. We are in Nuka World, so perhaps these Nuka World Raider gangs are going to send us on unique tasks in the Nuka World world space, which I think could be a refreshing change of pace. Instead of the kill this, collect that. Maybe it's get this many tickets, get this type of high score on one of the mini games at the Nuka Cade. Maybe it could be something along those lines and it's not something just as crazy similar as what we've seen in the base game of Fallout 4. Like I said, Far Harbor was a good indication that Bethesda is listening and willing to make changes to the game based off our feedback, so maybe this is something we can expect to see. And speaking of Far Harbor, just like in that DLC where it came with its new set of magazines, Nuka World also has that introducing the Dibrarian Trophy slash achievement, which says collect every issue of the Scav magazine. Now, Scav could give us any type of effect. I thought in Far Harbor it would give you a brand new issue of a magazine and they would just have that same effect stack up like it did with the issues in Fallout 4, but what it did in Far Harbor instead was give you a new magazine and then each one had its own different effects on their damage on mutated creatures and whatnot. So I'm wondering if Scav is going to be similar to the comics in Fallout 4 where you're going to have a stat that will stack or will it be new different stats and perks and bonuses provided in each magazine? I'd imagine it's going to be the latter. Supporting some of our speculation in the Nuka World trailer is the Hostile Takeover Trophy and Achievement, which is established eight raider camps in the Commonwealth. So what's great about this DLC is not only is it going to impact the Nuka World space, but we're actually going to be able to go back to the Commonwealth and do new things. And I wish this wasn't the final DLC because this is such a good idea to change not only the DLC, but the base game itself and add additional features to that. I really, really like this idea. Even if it's not something crazy cool, even if it ends up being a little underwhelming, I I really like the idea of going back to the base game and adding brand new features. So seeing that we're going to be able to establish eight raider camps in the Commonwealth is exciting. I wonder what these raider camps will do. Will they have their own lasting impact on the Commonwealth? Will they just be instead of settlers, raiders at my camps? Is it just going to be a simple change like that? Or are there going to be more drastic underlying changes in the settlement and how it works? Will they be more aggressive and go out and kill people? How is it exactly going to work? I don't know. I imagine sadly it's going to be something along the lines of instead of them being settlers at your camp, it's just going to be raiders and nothing more than that. But I don't want to be cynical and shortchange Bethesda. We're going to have to see when we get our hands on the content, but that's what I'm really expecting with this type of change because the settlement mode hasn't received any drastic overhauls. I don't know why they do it now when Nuka World has its own set of overhauls involved, but still exciting nonetheless that the base game is getting some changes. The final trophy slash achievement, and it's one that I referenced when we were looking at the Beverage Year trophy, is all sugared up, which is defeat 40 Nuka World creatures. While 
while under the effects of any Nuka mix flavor. So yes, now you understand why I speculated that these flavors of Nuka Cola would give us a special ability or power, probably like bonus strength, bonus endurance, something along those lines. But yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna speculate some type of crazy superpower because you could be all cracked out like with Psycho or something and have yourself hallucinating that you're doing something wild. But I'm only being sarcastic when I say this. I hope someone actually picked up on that, but still, I'm excited to see what these effects do. Hopefully they're not too basic. I mean, they're expecting you to make 20 flavors, so that's gotta be 20 different bonus effects. What those could lead to, I'm not sure. But still, this is actually in a lore freak kind of way. Exciting, because it's going to expand the canon on Nuka Cola in general, where we've only had a select few flavors. Now, we're going to have a ton because of this DLC. And I think that in its own right is actually really cool. But that will wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you guys enjoyed my video, giving you all the information and speculation I can on the Nuka World trophies and achievements this will be the last time i'm able to do this for fallout 4 which is a big sad face as i say that i'm sorry guys i hope that maybe there's more dlc somehow no i'm just kidding but i hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below are you looking forward to nuka world are you hyped did these trophies have you more hyped is there anything else that you have on your mind that you want to talk about about nuka world let me know in the comments down below. While you're there, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. The links are in the description box. Check out TriggerBomb.com, the place by Bethesda fans, for Bethesda fans. Other than that, stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.